Hi guys, so today we can talking about Eisenstein's criterion. Let f of x equals to a0 plus a1x plus and so on a n x power n belongs to z of x and n greater than or equals to 1. If there exists a prime p such that p square does not divides a0, p divides a0, p divides a1 and so on p divides a n minus 1 and p does not divides a n then f of x is irreducible over q the irreducibility means when f of x cannot be expressed as a product of two polynomials and um, Eisenstein's criterion is a test for irreducibility then the proof of the criterion is given f of x equals to a0 plus a1 a1 x plus and so on a n x power n and n greater than or equals to 1 let p be a prime such that p divides a0 p divides a1 and so on p divides a n minus 1 and p does not divides a n and p does not p square does not divides a0 we have to prove that f of x is irreducible over q Suppose f of x is reducible over q, we assume this and we know that f of x is reducible over z. Then f of x equal to the product of f1 of x and f2 of x, where f1 of x and f2 of x belongs to z of x are non-constant polynomials. Let f1 of x equals to c0 plus c1x plus and so on cr x power r when r is less than n and f2 of x equal to d0 plus d1 x plus and so on ds x power s when s is less than n ci and dz belongs to z since f of x equals to f1 of x and f2 of x therefore f of x equals to this we can write and f1 of x and uh, f2 of x the coefficients are a0 equal to c0 d0 and uh, the x coefficient is and the x coefficient is a1 equal to c1 d1 and uh, the a n coefficients x power n coefficients is a n equal to cr ds this we can write and next given that p divides a0 and p square does not divides a0 so p divides c0 and p does not divides d0 or p divides d0 and p does not divide c0 that is p cannot divide both c0 and d0 since p divides a p does not divides a n that uh, that implies p does not divide c r d s that implies p does not divide cr and p does not divide uh, ds consider this case p divides d0 and p does not divide uh, c0 let dm be the first coefficient in d0 plus d1x plus and so on ds x power s such that p does not divide dm we have am equals to c0 dm plus c1 dm minus 1 plus c2 dm minus 2 plus and so on cm d0 since p does not divide c0 and p does not divide c dm that implies p does not divide c0 dm and p divides c1 dm minus 1 plus c2 dm minus 2 plus cm d0 so p does not divides am m equals to n that is this this is contradiction because our assumption uh, is because this is not possible so our assumption is wrong therefore f of x is irreducible over q hence this criterion is proved i hope you understand this thank you